Hi, this is Lisa Marie, and before we get started on the video, I just wanted to let everyone know that you're in my thoughts and prayers, and I'm definitely hoping for the best outcome for everyone. Stay strong. And this video was filmed before the pandemic started, so just a little lightness, and I hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome to my channel, Living My Best Life, where I help you live yours. Today we're going to do some more funny expressions. Some of them are pretty old, so you may not have heard about them. So I'll share them with you, and then I will use each one in a sentence so that you know how to use it going forward. Let's get right into it. Number one is, don't have a cow. That just means don't get too upset. For example, hey, so what if you spilt the milk? Don't have a cow. No, I did not intend that pun. Oops. Number two is, know your onions. And that means to know what's going on. An example would be, Hey, you really need to pay attention in school and know your onions. The next one is Pang Wangle. That's a tongue twister. That means to live or just go on cheerfully in spite of minor misfortunes. For example, you could say, Oh, I'm just having the worst week, but I'm going to Pang Wangle along. The next one, I've never heard this before, the bank's closed. Well, all that means is that you don't feel like kissing or making out. So imagine you're significant other says, hey, want to make out? And you say, nope, the bank's closed. The next one is tickety-boo, and that means everything is all right, everything's okay. If somebody comes up to you and says, how are you doing today? You could just say, hey, it's tickety-boo. I just can't picture really saying that, can you? The next one is giggle mug. That just sounds ridiculous. It means someone who has a perpetual smile. For example, have you seen Susie? She's just got a giggle mug. The next one you may have heard of, it's called Picture Show or Moving Pictures. And what, that's what they used to call the movies because it was something that you could see that was moving. For an example, I could say, hey, you wanna go see a picture show? The next one is Fiddle Faddle. I remember my grandma used to say that. Fiddle Faddle describes trivial matters. In a sentence, we could say, oh, don't waste your time with Fiddle Faddle. The next one is Giggle Water. Now, that just means alcohol. And I guess it's because some people get funny or think everything's funny when they've been drinking. To use it in a sentence, I would say, hey, you want to go out to happy hour and get some giggle water? <laughs> to go along with the previous one, the next one is zazzled, and that just means you've had too much to drink. I could say, I went out last night and I just got zazzled. The next one is dewdropper. Now that's someone who's really lazy or slacks off. You could say, oh, Henry over there, <laughs> he never does anything. He's a dewdropper. And the next one, which I think is hilarious, is iron your shoelaces. Now, it sounds like, why would anybody iron their shoelaces? Well, what it means is to go to the bathroom. Imagine you're out at a restaurant and you've got to use the restroom and then you say, hey, so-and-so, I'll be right back. I need to iron my shoelaces. <laughs> I want to do that next time just to see what somebody says. Don't tell. The next one is get the icy mint. That means you've been rejected by someone you are romantically interested in. Using it in a sentence, you know, I really liked that guy, but I got the icy mitt. The next one is work. That's somebody who is a buzzkill. Basically someone who just is, ruins the party, a party pooper. Using it in a sentence, man, Sally is such a work. She ruined the whole night. And the last one is a pine overcoat. And this just means a coffin. I guess it makes sense if you think about it, but I would never have thought to use it. You could just say, well, my grandfather just recently passed and we have to go pick out a pine overcoat. I, I just can't picture that. <laughs> anyway, I guess if it was a pine coffin, I don't know. Well, I hope you enjoyed these words. I'm sure I'll do another video. There's so many out there and people seem to really enjoy them. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Four twenty friendly, a way to express the acceptance of smoking pot or accepting someone who does so. Now you know and you can be part of the conversation. See you next time. Bye.